Hello and welcome to our viewers joining us here in the United States and all around the world. I'm Rosemary Church. Just ahead on CNN Newsroom. Gun violence needs to stop. There's too much of it. Three weeks into the new year and already 33 mass shootings in the United States, with the latest in California leaving 10 people dead. New details on why this tragedy could have been even worse. Plus, President Joe Biden facing new criticism from within his own party. To think that any of them ended up uh, in, in, in boxes, uh, in storage, one place or the other, is just unacceptable. The fallout continues to grow over the FBI's discovery of more classified documents at the president's Delaware home. And Germany signals a change of heart when it comes to other countries sending this type of tank to Ukraine. Details in a live report. Live from CNN Center, this is CNN Newsroom with Rosemary Church. Thanks for being with us. Well, the community of Monterey Park in California should be celebrating the Lunar New Year, but instead it's reeling from a deadly mass shooting. The Los Angeles County Sheriff says the suspect in that massacre died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound inside a cargo van after a standoff with police on Sunday. He's been identified as 72-year-old Hu Can Tran. We are told he was once a regular presence at the dance hall where police accuse him of opening fire Saturday night. At least 10 people were killed, another 10 injured in the shooting that broke out during Lunar New Year celebrations. The sheriff says Tran went to another gathering in nearby Alhambra where some people wrestled the gun away from him. It was that seized weapon that allowed police to identify him. 